Hi, girls and boys. Um, it's Mrs. Kelly. It's late today to be getting this message to you. If you can see out the window behind me, it's already dark out. And look who I have here with me. I don't know if you can see his face so good, but it's Tuca. I know you guys know all about Tuca because I talk about him all the time, especially when we're writing. He's the guy I write about the most. I'm sorry I didn't send you a story earlier today. It was a busy day in the Kelly house, and I was actually doing a lot of schoolwork trying to get some plans together for um, next week. So, um, but I wanted to make sure I got a video to you today, just a quick one. This is kind of going to be like a bedtime story for you guys. Tuka's already pretty much asleep with me right here, so he's going to hang out and listen to the story too. This story is called Frog and Toad Together. This is just a quick little book, and I love to read it to my own children when they were little. It was written by Arnold Lobel. It's kind of like a chapter book. There's different stories in here. But the one that was always my children's favorite that I'm going to read to you tonight is a story called Cookies. Let me just turn to the page. Here it is. Can you see that picture of Frog and Toad? So there's not a lot of pictures in this, so I'm just going to read it like this to you tonight. Cookies. Toad baked some cookies. These cookies smell very good, said Toad. He ate one. And they taste even better, he said. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, frog, cried Toad. Taste these cookies that I have made. Frog ate one of the cookies. These are the best cookies I have ever eaten, said Frog. And there's the picture again of Frog eating the cookie. Frog and Toad ate many cookies one after another. You know, Toad, said Frog with his mouth full, I think we should stop eating. We will soon be sick. You are right, said Toad. Let us eat one last cookie and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one last cookie. There were many cookies left in the bowl. Frog, said Toad, let us eat one very last cookie and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one very last cookie. And here they are. Can you see them eating those cookies? We must stop eating, cried Toad as he ate another. Yes, said Frog, reaching for a cookie. We need willpower. What is willpower, asked Toad. Willpower is trying hard not to do something that you really want to do, said Frog. You mean like trying not to eat all these cookies, asked Toad. Right, said Frog. Frog put the cookies in a box. There, he said, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can open the box, said Toad. Oh, that's true, said Frog. Frog tied some string around the box. There, he said, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. And here's a picture of them putting the cookies in a box and tying the string around it. Can you see that one? And that one? See, they're tying the string around it. Frog got a ladder. He put the box up high on a shelf. There, said Frog. Now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can climb the ladder and take the box down from the shelf and cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog climbed the ladder and took the box down from the shelf. He cut the string and opened the box. Frog took the box outside. He shouted in a loud voice, Hey, birds, here are some cookies. Birds came from everywhere. 
They picked up all the cookies in their beaks and flew away. Now we have no more cookies to eat, said Toad sadly. Not even one. Yes, said Frog, but we have lots and lots of willpower. You may keep it all, Frog, said Toad. I am going home now to bake a cake. This is the picture. The little picture at the bottom. And that is the end of this chapter of Frog and Toad. Again, this is Frog and Toad. Here's the cover. It's written by Arnold. It's written by Arnold Lobel. Lobel, maybe. And that's the end of the story today, girls and boys. I said it was going to be a short little story, a um, little bedtime story for you. Today, this afternoon anyway, was a really nice day, and I hope that you got outside to enjoy it, even just for a few minutes, to get some fresh air and some sunshine on your cute faces. I will be back tomorrow. I will get my video out to you earlier in the day. Um, and I might have a message with some sight words with me or a math lesson, um, but tomorrow will be a little longer. So good night for now. I hope you had a great day and I hope you all have sweet dreams and I will see you tomorrow. I miss you. Bye.